Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I sometimes get asked about how can you make money with your art or your art skills in general? Now, there are different ways how you can do that. And today I'm going to focus on one option that you can go for right now. Over the past couple of years, I created a bunch of different artworks and I sometimes got asked, are you selling those? Now, besides selling my original art and prints, I had no idea what options I had before I met new people and learned about all the possibilities. And that's why I'll always encourage you to get out of your comfort zone and be on the lookout for new ideas and possibilities. And in one of my recent videos, I was interviewing my friend Jenna, who turned her art skills into a seven-figure business over the last couple of years to really show you what's possible. Because I feel like we sometimes live in our little bubble and we don't know what's possible. So it's really easy to get discouraged by people that are close to us, but don't really know about all the possibilities that are just waiting for us. And one of the possibilities is to actually use your art to design different products all by yourself using print-on-demand websites. Meaning, whenever someone buys something with your design, the website takes care of the production, the shipping, so you don't have to have a huge warehouse in your home and you don't have to spend any money upfront. And this is what I immediately wanted to try out myself a few months ago. I'm still totally new to this, but I thought, why not show you what I've created so far? If you remember, I worked on this series of cat paintings and really wanted to do something with it, even if it's just me following through with this project and uploading it somewhere. And because I had no idea where and how to start, I looked up different tutorials on Skillshare that is actually sponsoring today's video, which I'm really happy about it. I've been talking about them before and I think I've been using them for over a year now, whenever I want to learn something new and educate myself on different things, I always go to Skillshare. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's basically an online learning community for creatives with more than 26,000 classes in design, business, lifestyle, and more. And you can get access to all the premium content for less than $10 a month. I added a playlist full of videos that I watched to learn for this project and that will help you create designs that sell. So if you want to get unlimited access to all the premium content that I just mentioned, check out the link in the description box down below that will give you two months for free. First, I gathered all the paintings I thought I could turn into a physical product because I just wanted to see what I can do with them. I just looked through everything and decided on a few artworks I wanted to start out with. And then I used my scanner to scan them into my computer. I will have the link to my scanner in the description box down below if you're interested. It's a Canon scanner and I know some people use Epson scanners, but I'm actually quite happy with this one so far. And because I wanted the art to be super high resolution, I scanned everything at 1400 dpi. So if I would want to print it onto something large like curtains, it won't be pixelated, but crisp instead. You usually only use 300 dpi for print and the print on demand websites also say that but after learning this process of scanning by watching cat cockledge on skillshare i've been just following her instructions because she knows what she's doing the scanning process might take a while and the file will be huge but once the art is scanned you can really see every little millimeter super up close here are some of the scanned designs i just recently did but before uploading it to any print-on-demand website, I had to clean up the paintings because there might be dust or some other random spots that I want to remove first. I usually use Photoshop to edit my images and in this program, you can select the healing tool to magically make every flaw disappear, which is really cool. And because you're zoomed in so close, you can really see everything. Now, this process will take a while to get the image all cleaned up because you literally see everything, but it's totally worth it because then you know for sure that everything is okay. And you can also adjust the contrast and saturation of everything if necessary. You also want to make sure that you follow the pixel guidelines for specific products before you save anything because different websites have different requirements that you want to follow if you want to unlock certain products. So if you upload something too small, you won't be able to print it onto larger products. 
but you can find these guidelines on the website so you can always use them as a reference. A while ago I also scanned my acrylic pouring painting and decided to turn it into different designs as well but instead of just using one color palette I created a variety of different colors. I've been using this setting in Photoshop for ages but never thought about using it to adjust one single painting like that. The cool part about that is that you use one painting and turn it into multiple different versions and people can decide later what color they like and what fits best into their home. I think this is such a great idea and I learned it from Kat Collette um, that I mentioned earlier. She said in her videos that you already put so much time and effort into creating one artwork, why not get the most out of it? Which is so true. I also played around with different colors with my cat paintings just to see what works best. Once everything is cleaned up, adjusted and saved, it's time to upload everything onto the print-on-demand websites. For now, I only use Society6 and Redbubble. It's really easy to set up and on Redbubble you actually get to decide how much money you want to make from each design. So you have the cost of how much it costs to produce and then you add the amount of money you want to earn from each sale, which is really great. On Society6, you only can do that with prints so far, I think. You can also create a huge library of different designs, making sure you optimize it for search so people can actually find your products and then you're all set up. And I think the coolest part is to really see your art on different products and how it comes to life. I think my favorite is the Galaxy Backpack because it looks really unique and I had no idea that my acrylic pouring painting would look that good on a backpack. So besides just having a print of your art, you can transform them into home decor and other accessories which gives your art a whole new life. And because I first wanted to test out the quality of different things, I ordered a few items from both of these websites. Now the quality may vary depending on what you order. For example, I printed my acrylic pouring painting onto a towel using Society6 and I personally didn't like it that much, so I deactivated the design on the website. The prints and the posters were much better, so it really depends. And I really love the posters, the tote bag and the phone case that I got from Redbubble. It's such a cool feeling to hold something that you designed yourself. And you don't have to offer every product. You can, for example, only focus on a few products like prints, phone cases, mugs or something else. I mean, if you want, you can actually print your art onto furniture as well. It's up to you. And it actually looks really cool. You can take this even further and create different patterns and create even more unique products. I think using print-on-demand websites when you're just starting out and you don't really want to invest a ton of money into creating a huge inventory of things, you can totally try it out. It's really fun. You don't have to worry about anything except about uploading high quality designs into the website and they take care of everything else, like producing, shipping and things like that. Then you just need to keep on uploading and sharing it with the world so you get the traffic to your online store. So if you're interested in any of the designs I was just talking about, you can check out my store. I have the links in the description box down below. And if you got interested in setting up your own shop and start selling your art printed on different products, you can totally do that. So check out the playlist with different videos about this topic that go into everything in a lot more detail so you know exactly what to do. You can find a link to the videos and the free trial in the description box down below. I really hope this video inspired you to see your art in a totally different light and got you excited to create art that you could possibly sell. Let me know in the comments if you are already selling or using print-on-demand websites and what your experience was. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!